Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming what I got my kids for Easter this year, what's going to be in their Easter baskets. So this is what they look like. They're super cute. I ordered these liners off of Pottery Barn and it has their name engraved right here on the ears. So this is Bailey's basket and this is Shay's. And funny thing, I ordered these liners, these little bunny liners with their names engraved on the ears off of Pottery Barn and when I went to go check out I was like these are super cheap like there's no way that I think there was like $38 total or something and I was like why have I never done this before because I wanted an Easter basket that's gonna last them through the years instead of having to buy a new one each year and just waste money that way so I wanted to get like a really good high quality basket that's gonna last them through the years so that's what I decided to do this year and then when they came in the mail it was only the liners and not the basket so <laughs> I'm so stupid and forgot to get the basket but um, I actually walked into Home Goods the other day and I found these two on display, like right when you walk in for their little Easter display. And they had like a bunch of candy and just like decorative stuff in the baskets. And I was like, I need those. Those are going to be perfect. They look like the perfect size. So I took everything out of the baskets that were on display at Home Goods and like I destroyed that entire scene. It was so cute and put together, but they were for sale. They had a price tag on them and everything. It was just funny that I had to like totally ruin that entire display so that I could purchase these but I'm so happy because I brought them home and I put the liners on and they fit perfectly so I'm so happy with them and I probably saved a lot of money too buying them from home goods um, but that's just a little backstory for you and another thing is I purchased some things on Amazon like two weeks ago for the girls baskets I got um, a coloring book and it comes with like stickers and stuff for Bailey. It's from Paw Patrol. And then I got Shay's Sippy Cup. And I'll insert pictures right here for you guys because I don't have them yet. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, and then I also have two books. So there's a book about Jesus and then there's another little bunny book. And they were supposed to be here like two weeks ago. And I actually got fraud on one of my um, debit cards. So I had to cancel that card. And so the order never shipped because... Um, my Amazon card wasn't working obviously because I put a stop on that card so I had to update my information on Amazon and everything and then have them reship it out to me and repurchase it and then I was waiting to film this video for you guys last night because the Amazon order said it was supposed to ship by 8 p.m. last night and so I was like okay that's fine I'll film it last I'll film it tomorrow night and then I'll get it up either late or early Saturday morning which is when you guys are seeing this probably afternoon now um, and they they never came and then I looked this morning they still weren't there the order still wasn't there so I went on my Amazon account and it said that the Amazon truck driver, I guess, couldn't get through our gate to deliver our package. So I encountered a lot of bumps in the road in order to film this video for you guys, and I still don't have everything I'm putting in their basket, but that's okay. I'm filming it now, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and get some inspiration if you still need ideas on what to put in your kids' Easter baskets. So I'm going to start with Bailey first, and if you guys are new to my channel, Bailey just turned three in January and she's a girl obviously so this is what her basket looks like and I'm just gonna take out things one by one to show you so the first thing I have in her basket is this tangled bubbles machine it's like a little tangled one and it comes with bubbles and I think it sings too so I know she's gonna love that and then I also have a puzzle Bailey's really into puzzles right now and all the puzzles that we have currently are just too easy for her so oops sorry it's a Peppa Pig puzzle and it comes with 24 pieces and it looks like it's gonna be not super easy for her but it'll definitely keep her interested and it'll take her a while to finish and she loves Peppa Pig too so I know she's really gonna like that and most of this stuff you guys I got from Target if not everything so um, I will leave links for everything below in the description box if you guys um, are interested in anything and then I also got both of the girls these I got them from the dollar section at Target it's just a glitter pink spoon and fork they're really cute and then these I actually got from home goods when I found the baskets I saw these too and they're super cute they're little pink slides and I got the same ones for Shea but they're in white so really cute she could probably wear these like to the pool or just during the summer just easy slip on slides really cute 
And then I got her a new sippy cup. I got this one from Target. It's the Contigio line. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it has um, a straw right here. And it has a little snack container too at the top. I don't know how much we're going to use that, but that's really cool too. Um, and I've never tried these before, so if you guys have tried these sippy cups before, let me know if you like them. But I like the design on it. It's really pretty. And then I also got both of the girls a pair of jean shorts for the summer. These ones are from the Cat and Jack line, and I got Bailey a size 4T. I haven't tried them on her yet, obviously, but they look like they're going to fit her. But they're really cute, just a basic jean short that she could wear with anything. And then you can't have Easter without treats, and this was so cute. I found this at Target. Um, it's a little cotton candy carrot. And then same thing with this. It's a little carrot, but these are, I think, M&M's. I found these at Home Goods. I just really like the colors. The pastel colors were really pretty. So those two things were the only real treats that I put in her basket this year. The rest of the stuff is more like fruit snacks and healthier options. So I have these organic Z fruit ropes. These are really good. I like them too. They're super yummy, and Bailey thinks they're candy. And um, these Simply Balanced Fruit Strips I got in the flavor Wild Berry. And then these are so perfect to put in your kids' Easter baskets if you don't want to put a bunch of treats in there. Um, these Annie's Bunnies are so perfect for Easter because they're little bunnies. And I got the strawberry flavor and I just put a bunch of them in her basket. And then she obviously also has like a bunch of eggs in here which I haven't filled yet. I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet. I may end up putting like some coins so she can put in her piggy bank or like jelly beans or something. I'm not really sure yet what I want to do. I'll probably decide like once Easter gets a little bit closer, but I didn't want to fill them yet because we still have like a couple weeks until Easter gets here. So that is everything that I put in Bailey's basket this year for Easter. Obviously, I'm going to put the book about Jesus once that book gets here, hopefully, um, in the mail soon. I can put that in her basket. Um, and then the other book and the sippy cup will be going in Shay's. So let's move on to Shay's basket. So this is what her basket looks like and Shay is 10 months old. So the first thing I'll share with you guys is this pool float. So I put this in her Easter basket this year because Shay was born in May. So her first real summer, she was a little bit too young to really enjoy the water and the pool and stuff. So I got her this to put in her basket and I got it from Target. It has a removable and adjustable sun canopy. I think this is the exact same one that Shay used when, she, or Bailey used when she was Shay's age. Um, so I can't wait to use this this summer with Shay. And then I got this for the bath. It's a little mermaid. And then you pull, I think you pull this part, yeah. And it like flaps. <laughs> Sorry if that's really loud. Um, but I know she'll really like that in the bath. I also got her a utensil set, the spoon and the fork, and then the pair of shorts. <laughs> How cute are these? I can't wait for her to wear them. I love chunky baby legs and jean shorts. They're the cutest. And then also the slides just in white. How cute are those? Ugh, I die. And then the treats that I put in Shay's basket this year, um, I put some of these Happy Baby Organic Creamies. These are super good. She really enjoys those. And then some puffs from the Happy Baby line as well. And then I also put some of the Simply Balanced um, fruit strips that I put in Bailey's basket too. She likes to gnaw on these as well. I just have to keep my eye on her. But she really enjoys them. And then obviously there's some eggs for her too. I don't know what I'm going to put in them. Probably just some puffs or something for her since she can't have any real candy yet. But that is everything that I put in the girls' Easter baskets this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some inspiration on what to put in your little one's baskets for Easter. I can't wait to see the reaction on the girls' faces, especially Bailey this year, um, to see her basket because she's at the age now where she like really understands and knows what's going on and gets really excited for holidays. So I can't wait to experience this holiday with both of my girls this year, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.